Hi, I'm Tanik Sims 2, but you can call me Tani, and today we are back with the Delarosas for round 9 of Pleasant View. I'm very pleased to announce that uh, this video is going to purely be gameplay. Uh, <laughs> I know I can hear you rejoicing. <laughs> but since it's been a while since the first part came out, I'll just give a brief recap to jog your memory and, to be honest, mine too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's thinking about not himself. <laughs> so yeah, Alda is the son of Florence and Gilbert Jacquet. Jacquet? Oh, he doesn't like that he- oh. <laughs> um, I was about to say, um, he's just gotten into private school the day before. Oh, why is he thinking like that? No negativity, okay? <laughs> I was about to say, like, he, he's, um, he wanted to go into private school. So I did that last night, and apparently he's not that happy about it. <laughs> Ungrateful. <laughs> Meanwhile, Florence is trying to achieve her lifetime one of uh, 50 first dates. And we are hopefully going to start working towards that in this round. And she's actually woken up with the want to ask him on date, and I'm going to lock it. Just to guarantee, because I think it would be really nice, you know, Friday night. And I've got my eye on Dexter. I've got my eye on Dexter Goth, who is the son of Alexander Goth. They have three bolts, so it shouldn't be too hard to get them, you know, <laughs> um, to like each other, I guess. Um, ooh, that looks painful. <laughs> Are you okay, hun? <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, so today is Friday, it's Alda's first day of private school, the bus has just arrived, and it's also, uh, there's an object error, great. <laughs> We're off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> uh, so it's day three of a total seven. The Della Rosa's rotation starts on a Wednesday, and it ends on a Tuesday. Uh, I thought that would get really confusing and people wouldn't really like my sort of, um, well that's Onyx, very heavily pregnant, Onyx, <laughs> Axel, I don't know, <laughs> Dirk and Lilith's daughter, but yeah I thought people wouldn't really like how um, disorganised that sort of is, but you guys, as lovely as you are, told me I should play how I felt most comfortable and that was really encouraging and honestly was all the validation i needed oh we don't have any breakfast stuff okay um fruit and yogurt i have quite a few custom foods mainly because um sort of when you download them you sort of have to commit <laughs> um because of the whole problem with um it creates memories and it creates tokens and removing the mod, removing the custom food um, messes with those. This isn't a corruption video, I don't know why it's info dump like that, but <laughs> I think it's just habit from the corruption chronicle, from the corruption chronicles where I just, <laughs> it's just a habit to sort of just dump all that on you. <laughs> I mean I mostly downloaded custom food for vegetarian options um because i like having some vegetarian sims if i think it fits them and i definitely think florence would be a vegetarian what's going on we're really off to a great start aren't we <laughs> oh because prim's in the way cat's in the way <laughs> the amount of times i've wanted to sit down and eat my breakfast but couldn't because because the cat was in the way. <laughs> really relatable. It's almost 10 a.m. So I'd like to open the business soon. And I do have an idea. It's not that interesting. So I don't know why I framed it. Like it was really interesting. And you'd all be really um, hyped. <laughs> My plan was to, um, you know, since Alda sort of works or helps out more at the... Um, at the business, the florist, I think it would be really good to give him like a wage. Um, it would be like unofficial, 
because I don't think you can actually like hire him and give him an actual wage if he's in the household. And the reason why I say that's not that interesting and kind of a mess because <laughs> is because <laughs> if you've seen the first part, which I'm gonna I'm gonna assume you have. <laughs> but yeah, I want to give him a wage and it would be difficult for me because I am not <laughs> I'm not a math genius, I've got to be honest. It might be hard to keep up with. So I'm gonna give him like an easy wage so I can remember. Probably um, 15 simoleons an hour. Let's go with that. I don't know. Because the bank account mod on the hacked computer, uh, you can only do it in, I think, 100 installments. It's like first one's 100 and then 200 and then it sort of goes to 500. Whatever, that's kind of boring. <laughs> don't mind that. <laughs> But the minimum amount you can put in is a hundred. Uh -huh. I was about to ask who's this, but it's a plant. <laughs> As I was saying... Uh oh. No, this is way more important. Hold on. I'll get back to what I was saying like later. But um, this is Brenda. She's the... Um, the review lady. <laughs> you know, the person who reviews all your businesses. <laughs> Oh, he does not like Jan Telemann. I think that's really rude when Sims do that. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, she comes and she reviews the business, so you need to get on a good side, which I kind of already did. <laughs> Again, um, ne nepotism, 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 because we're best friends forever, so she'll always give me a good review, it doesn't matter. Alda's grades are slipping. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> B minus? That's fine. Also obligatory. I have a mod. <laughs> that makes it so private school actually like like is useful. Like it actually has sort of benefits. Um so private school students get home an hour early. And that's great because that means he has time to work with the business work on the business and he's a fortune sim so i think that would be perfect and it means he can earn some money which he wants he's brought a friend home he's brought kent day home from school he is a um a trico trico i pronounce it differently like every time mm. it keeps things spicy i think hey florence is alder available to talk um yeah it's Friday, yeah. Go on, go nuts. <laughs> Someone really needs to take care of this business. What? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> oh, shh. And there's trash on the floor. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Did I finish my sentence? Um, that Ken Day is a Chico team? <laughs> my favourite townie, my favourite fashionable townie is that. <laughs> I never want to change her outfit because maybe that's just her fashion sense. <laughs> and you know, I don't judge. <laughs> I'm all for alternate. No, I'm all for alternative fashion. <laughs> You're not even facing the right way, Jan. Like, I couldn't even tell you in the queue if you're facing that way. <laughs> so don't get huffy at me. Oh, you fulfilled a want. I don't even know what you fulfilled. <laughs> oh, it might have been um, customer gain to start. I wasn't really paying attention, I've got to be honest. <laughs> it's sort of like rush hour. That's not really what you say. Busy, busiest time of day. <laughs> mm, this guy Jake also finds her attractive so yeah two bolts so he's definitely a, uh, <laughs> a candidate but I'd like to go with Dexter for tonight as I said in the previous part he's a he's an employee and they work nine to five weekdays so he won't be available until 5 p.m and I might have to you know like do some do some sweet talking, I guess, over the phone, or like invite him over first. 
because they don't have a high relationship but they're also three bolts and in my experience three bolts will just come running you know <laughs> you can do absolutely anything like immediately you can propose marriage to a three bolter and <laughs> they'll say yeah it doesn't matter if you just met them <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna go from 2 p.m. so Alda is going to be the cashier and he now has a wage of 15 simoleons an hour. I'll forget but I'm trying to pay attention, I'm trying to remember this and then when he gets to 100 or over 100 I guess um, we can put stuff in his bank account and that'd be really nice for uni. Oh no, Jill's back. <laughs> Oh, she, um, she's a garden club member and she takes her role very seriously because in my last, <laughs> in the last part, it was like 2am and she was just at my house, well at Florence's house, <laughs> and she, <laughs> she was just smelling my flower, or Florence's flowers, whatever, she was just smelling the flowers and raking the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and playing fetch with a with the leader of the pack with the wolf. It was um it was messy, but I think that's why we love the Sims. <laughs> so Alda's got no talent badges, I don't think. He has no uh cashier sales register what are they called? <laughs> yeah, cash register till he has no sale sales. No, cash register. He has a cash register badge, whatever it is. He doesn't have. <laughs> doesn't matter what it is, he just doesn't, he just doesn't have it. Um, so he's a bit slow on the cash register, but... So I need to get Florence back out here. And also 30 simoleons for Alda, because it's 3pm. I say it like anyone else would be interested. Um, <laughs> It's more so I just remember, because otherwise I will, I will forget. I don't think I'll make it to 100 today, because I want to close soon and I want her to go on her date. And ooh, I'm going to go fairly paid, because she has quite, um, I think she's on the nicer side. Yeah, she's just on the nice side, so, um, I don't think she would overpay herself. She's not Malcolm, you know. <laughs> I might make a few flowers um, just before she has to get ready to go on a date, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it would be fun though. I think it would be really fun. I know um, I mentioned in the last part, like, I wasn't sure if like I should just keep talking and like if I should just talk about random things if I just don't know what to say. Or if I could just be quiet and I did end up editing out like cutting out parts where I was just completely silent because it happened to be parts where nothing was happening 45 simoleons okay okay bye this isn't an airport <laughs> yeah I kept cutting out parts where I was silent um so I probably won't even include parts where I am just not talking because if something big happens I will talk Unfortunately, I'm very sorry to announce that. That's Ivy Kapoor. Kapoor? Kapoor? She is engaged to um, Cody Lothario. She was a teenager, but I aged her up because she was dating Cody Lothario, who is Nico Lothario. <laughs> Nico Lothario's son. So Nico is Don and Cassandra's oldest son. And um, Kyla Burbs' son as well. Kyla is the second daughter of, um, oh it's 5pm, I think I'm going to close up shop so she can go on a date hopefully. <laughs> Alda has earned, uh, 60? I think 60. I will double check because I don't I don't trust myself with maths. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Yay! So he's earned about sixty simoleons today. So I can't put anything in his bank account for college. Um, but tomorrow, what a good week it's been. What happened? Oh, okay. So apparently, I guess that the want to ask someone on a date just gets fulfilled. 
<laughs> Even when you just pick up the phone, <laughs> she's happy. <laughs> he might say no, because they don't really know each other, but I'm a risk taker. Oh, he said yes. Oh, we're going to a community lot. Yeah, let's go downtown. It's Friday. Take the cat with you. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know why I'm excited. Like, ooh. <laughs> uh, should we go formal wear? Like, I don't know where we're gonna go. Mm, definitely not Bernard's Botanical Garden because the last time Florence went there, she got pregnant. <laughs> should I give Alder an extra hour wage? Because he's still. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's so slow. He knows that he'll get an extra hour. <laughs> <laughs> Should be just... Oh, he's got a bronze cash register talent badge. That is awesome. Uh, definitely not. Oh, the botanical dining, whatever. Where, wherever it is, um, we're not going. <laughs> I cannot risk another baby. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Londos is a bit fancy. No, we'll go to Londos. I always send my Sims there um, when I want them to get engaged. <laughs> but I don't know if they'll want that. Dexter is a romance sim and Florence has never wanted to get engaged, just in general. Ah, oh, he's happy because he earned some money. That's great, but he can't get it in his bank account just yet. But he has 75 simoleons today. I will make a note of that. What music's playing? I don't put my head. I don't wear headphones when I'm um, recording this because um, <laughs> I just plug them in, but I don't put them on because I need to hear everything around me, especially if someone else is home, which they are. <laughs> so I can hear if they like, you know, come downstairs or something, or if I can hear like any background music or noise or whatever. So I can't actually hear the audio for The Sims. Um, Today's TMI, I guess. <laughs> you guys said just play how you feel comfortable, and I'm just talking when I want to talk. <laughs> and you're gonna listen. What's playing? Absolutely nothing, so that's really embarrassing. <laughs> how about we turn on some music? I've turned off the music. What a banger. Oh no. Oh no. Why? <laughs> I can't even say what are those because there aren't any, there, there is no those. <laughs> what aren't those? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, she doesn't mind it. <laughs> Obligatory another, I have a mod. <laughs> you can do like a Tannix and Sue bingo and just, I have a mod <laughs> is like, there you go, you can cross that one off. But I use the visitor controller. Um, and I think I made it so on this lot, you it forces formal wear. Point is, I have the visitor controller and I force it on this lot, so everyone has to wear their formal wear. Yeah. That wasn't as interesting as, like, it, it, it didn't deserve the, like, build-up I just gave it. <laughs> But yeah, basically you come here and you have to wear your formal wear. And apparently with Dexter, his formal wear is no shoes. <laughs> the Sims 2 experience is starting a date in the middle of the road. <laughs> Bonus points if you tickle them, but um, they're not that close yet. But he wants to play with Florence and she wants to play with Dexter and look. It's always good to just have a tickle, you know? <laughs> Sounded like a euphemism. I promise it wasn't. <laughs> but they do want to, um, they do want to dine together. I'm not gonna say what I was just thinking. <laughs> you may have noticed, of course I'm gonna point it out, but I have locked a want because Dexter wants to become a witch. Or maybe, a... again, uh, I mentioned this in the intro video. Because I got very excited about this because I didn't have apartment life as a kid. Uh, I only got it with the ultimate collection. I still haven't really explored witches 
Um, so I don't actually know if male witches in this game are warlocks or not, but he wants to become a witch. And I was really shocked when he got that one because he's a romance sim and in my experience, romance sims normally get once where they fear someone else becoming a witch. But I think he's actually knowledge secondary aspiration, um, which may be where the witch want has come from. Which is awesome because I've never had a sim with that one, let alone becoming a witch. I've never done it. So I'd- where is the server? <laughs> is this place self-service? Oh no, she's there, okay. Okay, she's coming. Don't wait. don't panic. Stop panicking. Just calm down, everyone. I know that you're on the edge of your seat. Don't fall off. <laughs> the Contessa's here. Everyone, shut up. A queen has arrived. <laughs> I'm not the Juno Birch, I think I am, but... <laughs> Look at her. Yes. Oh, she is stunning. No, I need to... I do Chef's Choice, which I didn't know about. I think I learned it from Pleasant Sims. If you do Chef... Chef? <laughs> My if you do chef's choice they'll always get what they're thinking of and what's in their thought bubbles and what's in their thought bubbles um it's considered their favorite food at least at the the podium so i guess the nightlife podium you know there's the nightlife podium and then there's the open for business podium again info dumping sorry <laughs> i'm really sorry it's a bad habit <laughs> They'll choose their favourite food, and so I like to do that. It, it was also less decision making for me. <laughs> Guess my sign. <laughs> they don't. Well, she doesn't have many wants related to him, which is. I've never successfully done the skip out and build thing because the whole point is you have to avoid being caught by the the server person. But I've never been able to do that. I've never been able to get out the door without them seeing. <laughs> romance sims are so funny they'll just like be on a date to some random they'll be on a date with someone and then they'll just like randomly think about all their other lovers and then they'll be like i want to get married to them but also i don't <laughs> sims <are> so complex <laughs> so nuanced she wants to dance with him and then she has she doesn't want to do anything else <laughs> what the... she wants to marry gilbert See both of them are just very annoying. <laughs> Her face. I don't think she's that into him. I mean for three bolts, it's just this is very awkward. Yeah, she doesn't look too into it. And she has no other wants related to Dexter. She just wants to eat out with her again, dine out with her again. Like you just ate. <laughs> I mean they don't want to do anything else. Um so I, I guess we should just end it i mean i mean her lifetime one is just to have the first dates and that's been achieved she's had her first date it doesn't matter if it's like two seconds long it still counts <laughs> i think it was a good date but yeah she is not that interested she wants to drink juice and why not go nuts <laughs> oh oh did they just stop being enemy i didn't even know they were enemies <laughs> We are witnessing the start of a beautiful friendship. What's also going on? Oh, we're, we're gesturing hang loose. Of course we are. Congratulate. Why are we congratulating Dexter? Is it because he's hot? Yeah, it's because he's hot. Uh, she's getting tired and it's about 1am. So I think I'm going to call the taxi. The date was kind of a uh, bit awkward. I thought it would be a little spicier. I've got to be honest with, you know, like three bowls. I kind of thought they would want more from each other but we got one step closer to her lifetime want so that's all that matters really you know her, her lifetime one doesn't have 50 dream dates it's 50 first dates and that just ma that just counts whether you spend whether all you do is you know tickle them <laughs> or chat with them in the middle of the road <laughs> it doesn't matter like she fulfilled she got one step closer Bowl just disappeared. It just vanished. I watched that with my eyes, both of my eyes, all of my eyes. Okay, hi, we are back with 
the home lot with Alda. Um, I have the community, <laughs> again, take that off your bingo. I have the community time project mod, so while Florence is out, we can just play with Alda and see what he wants to do. And he has a want to hire Eden as an employee. I think that's definitely really cute because um, I'm taking it to be... Let's turn the music off. I just saw that the radio was on. Anyway, yeah, I see it as him being very enamoured with Eden, who, as I mentioned in the previous video, she is a romance sim and her lifetime one is, you know, have 20... Mm, you know, <laughs> uh, fill in the blank. <laughs> so um, I can't see her wanting to commit to Alda, unfortunately. But he does roll a lot of wants about Eden. He's very smitten with her. I can see him wanting to hire her as an employee, so obviously she would be around more. He could see her every single day. I love this. Friday night. <laughs> teenage boy left home alone and he's just <laughs> he just wants to play with um with prim i do want to reach mechanical level one i do want to fulfill that for him because uh he's a tinkering sim and of course having <laughs> having a mechanic having mechanical skill points would be <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me for what I'm about to say, but it will be, um, handy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was absolutely awful. I like to do it with the hacked computer, um, because it's faster. And they gain skills so quick. Is it cheaty? Probably. Um, do I care? Absolutely not. <laughs> My voice, like... <laughs> I tried to sound really cool, like, absolutely not, I do not care, but my voice is just like... <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> <laughs> See? Look how quick that was. Actually, I do think he had some, um... Ooh, ooh. <gasps> yes! Oh! Oh my gosh, my dream. Well, this is what I want him to like go into i want him to um yeah i've written in his bio when he grows up he swears he is going to build an entire army of robots hell bent on spreading love and joy across the neighborhood because he's maximized oh. and i really 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 want him to go into robot making that's enough you can't you can't gain too many you don't want to he also wants to buy some new clothes which i think is a really good idea because i think it's coming up to winter, it's the middle of autumn, and he wears shorts. Um, I just left him in the clothes he sort of aged up into because I figured he that's what he wanted to wear. But you can get some new clothes, it's fine. Please get as excited as I am about this. He wants a robot station, which is absolutely perfect. I want that so much for him. I want him to start making robots. It's 2,000. <gasps> I mean, they can afford it, but it's just... Would Florence really just be like, yeah, go ahead then? <laughs> I mean, on his wage, 15 millions an hour is not gonna cover that. <laughs> but uh, he really wants it and they can't afford it. And Okay, maybe he makes a deal with his mum. He says, I'm gonna work in the shop so I can pay off this. Um, so you buy this and I'll work in the shop and it'll sort of be my... So instead of like keeping the money that he earns in the shop for college, it can go towards this. He also got inheritance from Denise, his grandmother. So he's got some money there that he can also put forward. I think I gave him about 500 so he can, you know, contribute that as well. That could be interesting. Yeah, I can just see him like working it off in the shop. He wants to change clothes or buy new clothes. Um, Mum just gave him her credit card, said, yeah, Maybe order a pizza, you know. <laughs> he's just say like buying a robot bed <laughs> and new clothes. <laughs> I'll take the money out of his uh, of his bank account from the inheritance, and I'll sort of do that as like a, it will go towards the robot bench, and then the rest of the time he'll work in the shop. Kind of sad he won't really have much money for uni. Hope he can get a scholarship. Should probably have taken it all out, really. 
and then that 100 would have gone towards the 2000. He'll probably never really pay that back, but I don't think his mom would be like that mad, I think. <laughs> He's just so cute. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna put him in jeans because it's getting colder and he wears shorts, so. Um, I just need to take care of his, you know, his needs that require some privacy. But also, uh, just really quick, it's the end of the third day, end of Friday, so Alda is seven days to adult. So next round, he will become either an adult or he will go to college. They always go on their final day of being a teenager in my game. And Florence is... 11 days to elder. Yeah, we're mostly just waiting for Florence to get home. <laughs> she gets home like, oh, I wonder what my son did with, you know, my, my credit card. <laughs> what pizza did he get? <laughs> and she just comes into the lounge and there's just this. <laughs> yeah, you could also like sell his creations. Uh, that will pay back the, um, the debt, I guess. I'm so invested in like elder and like his robot making because I made it so like I guess like integral to what I envision for him since I put it in his bio I would have written that when he was probably a child I don't know whether to put them in the shop and like make them like a sellable object or just you know you can just sell it straight away you know it will show up and I'll click on it and I can sell it like, yeah I can just sell it but I think it would be hard to um to track I think whether someone's bought it or not and I would forget, basically. <laughs> so he's gonna sell it and that will go towards his debt, I guess. Which I haven't really been paying attention to, <laughs> my bird. Anyway, it's late. So I'm gonna have him go to sleep. Florence will be home, mm, I guess any minute now. It's 2 a.m. and Florence is very tired. She had a kind of lackluster date. Okay, so I did the maths. I did the monster maths. <laughs> I was awake at like 5am and I couldn't sleep and so my brain was just sort of like, time to work out this, this wage situation or the debt situation or whatever. So first of all, I'm going to keep the um, last 100 in Alda's bank account because I thought it would be really, really tight of me, <laughs> really mean if I took that because that is technically well not even technically it is his um grandmother's inheritance and i don't think that would be fair and i personally don't think florence would um let him spend his inheritance like all his inheritance money on clothes and the robot station so yesterday from working in the shop he got 75 simoleons and also he earned 120 simoleons from making and selling a toy robot. So he has paid 195 simoleons for the $2,000, 2000 simoleon that uh, since he wanted this robot station and it was 2000. <laughs> That's a lot of money. So it's Saturday, so what I'm thinking of doing is having Alda uh, be on the shop floor, I guess, doing the uh, any restocking that's necessary, um, the cashier duties and sales duties, even though he's not really very experienced, but oh, Alda, that's not what I had in mind for today. Are you Okay then. <laughs> uh, forget what I just said. Um, I guess he's not gonna be working in the shop today, or at least not right now. He has other plans. <laughs> because he has invited Eden Burb over, who is his crush. His... I didn't really know what they are, but he's very into her. I've got my eye on... What is his name? I think it's like Jake or something. Uh, Jake Platts. Um, but I think I need to call him first because they're only two bolts. I don't think he'd accept right away like Dexter did. Butter him up a bit, yeah. And um, uh, maybe in the evening they can go out together. I think uh, every half hour I'll give him his wage check, I guess. <laughs> 
You know, my plan was um, <laughs> have Alda work in the shop while Florence made some more bouquets and also talk to uh, Mr. Jake Platts. Um, but Alda's decided no. <laughs> I think Eden kind of won <laughs> overworking today. Even though she's just playing the piano. <laughs> Is there a mod that that gets rid of gesture hang loose or or anything along those lines? Because oh, I need it. I need it. They just they were just obsessed with doing it, and so a fun story. It's not fun. It's not very nice actually. It started because of Don and Cassandra's honeymoon, and unfortunately, Don he met one of the hula dancers and he got on very well with her. Uh, I'm sure you can imagine what happened there which was not nice and to add to the not niceness I think Cassandra was actually pregnant. I think she fell pregnant either on the, hon on the honeymoon or you know the night before <laughs> the wedding night. Either way while on the honeymoon she was pregnant so i think she stayed at you know stayed back at the hotel a few times because she was very tired um her needs were depleting quite quickly and i think don kind of used that to his advantage unfortunately and met with this hula dancer and because he spent so much time with this hula dancer she did that a lot she gestured hang loose <laughs> a lot and so he learnt it and it's his fault basically he spread this oh Tiva just ran outside to go and gesture hang loose to Tessa see it's you know the super duper hug bug <laughs> yeah my version is gesture hang loose <laughs> I have the gesture hang loose super duper bug <laughs> I think their relationship is um, high enough, so I think she should get ready, you know, freshen up, have a shower, <laughs> gussy up, you know. Does anyone actually say like gussy up? Like, is that an actual like term outside of The Sims? Because I swear it's not. I've never heard it, but maybe maybe it's an American thing. I, d I don't know. <laughs> hey Alda, is Florence available to talk? Oh, it's Dexter. Um, she's not at the moment but hey at least he um that's pretty gentlemanly um they went on a date and he called the next day so that's that's good <laughs> oh oh he's persistent she's really not like she genuinely isn't like she's right there see her pixels ignore morty's pixels just look at her <laughs> she goes somewhere where they can eat Maybe not, um, where did I go last time? Nondos. Maybe not there. Let's go somewhere new, somewhere spicy. Um, Rodney's hideout? I think, I'm pretty sure you can eat here. Yeah, we'll go there. Okay, we have arrived at Rodney's hideout. He wants to be tickled. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the key to a good first date is tickling them. It's more effective if it's in the middle of the road. But on the night like, sidewalk, like, you know, like right by the road, outside where you are going. Yeah, that's fine too. <laughs> what is his sign? Well, it's going to be either Sagittarius or Pisces. So. Sagittarius. I don't have enough of those in my pleasant view. <laughs> I only have about a mm, hundred. <laughs> Could always do us some more. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. There's no photo booth here. There is a bench, however, and without being too graphic, um, I'm pretty sure I have actually had a sim on a date uh, utilize uh, the benches. <laughs> How embarrassing, they have, a, they have the same haircut. One of you is going to have to just shave your hair off. Oh no. No, she took his seat. Oh, that's so sad. Anyway, <laughs> I 
Anyway, it's, it fulfills her own want to play golf. <laughs> so. Oh wow, he really, really likes being tickled by Florence. <laughs> what if that's her secret? Yeah, her secret, Florence's big secret is that her tickling is just... <laughs> Are you bored, sir? Am I boring you? Actually, I was thinking in my game, her secret is that um, <laughs> her florist, her shop, <laughs> is just a cover. <laughs> because all she wants, she just uses it so she can meet. <laughs> so she can meet people because she wants to go on first dates. <laughs> I do actually want to lock in this one because she's wearing the same clothes she comes with and usually I like giving makeovers and I've, you know, I've given her a different hairstyle and I've given her some different makeup but I haven't really changed her clothes. But again, she just, she just doesn't really care. <laughs> Is it really? Just, do they want to do nothing? Oh no, she wants to marry. Oh, okay, yeah, there it is. There's her face. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Stunning. I don't think I said this in either the intro video or, you know, the general Pleasant View intro video or the dates ended. <laughs> or if I said it in the first part, but I give pre made Sims, you know, Sims made before you need. Um, degrees if I think they would suit it and as a rule of thumb I will usually give knowledge sims. I will usually give knowledge sims a degree. In my experience knowledge teens are more likely to always roll that want to go to college. So far I've only had one who didn't want to go and that was Isaac. I would imagine Florence would have gone. I used to bat books to give them a degree and what I think they would do a degree in. I can't remember what I gave her, basically. <laughs> I want to say I gave her an art degree because I think that would tie in with the flower making. That's, that's just a guess, I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna go home now, it's half two in the morning. <laughs> right, back with Alda for his evening. Um, Florence will be home, it's just gone um, half two in the morning. Anyway, I just imagine him enjoying his own company a bit more, you know, so I don't think he would really have parties or even just invite a friend over for some pizza. I think he would enjoy just having the house to himself. And he really wants to work on getting a bronze robotics talent badge. Um, I think we can, yeah, like, let's make some robots. <laughs> But then I'm just wondering, like, because to make the robots, he has to spend um, the 108 simoleons. So I'm just wondering, would that, like, stack on top of the debt? Oh, it's gonna get so confusing if I keep up with this. So I'm just, like, focusing on the 2000. And I'll sort of know when I get to that, I don't know, benchmark, I guess. He's in his element when he's tinkering, you know? Aww. Look at it. he's so happy, he's so proud. I'm proud too, honey. Now let's sell for 120. So I think he's paid hmm, probably nearly, if not just over 300 simoleons towards the debt. To be honest, I don't actually think he's gonna pay it all back, at least not before college. I don't think Florence would be very, um, you know, strict about it. He's six days to adult. I don't think he's gonna pay it back in six days, I have to be honest. <laughs> it's the end of Saturday, it's at the end of day four. Florence is 10 days to elder. Okay, so it's past midnight. Um, his other knees are fine, but his comfort's a little, like sort of in the middle and his energy is getting low. So I'm gonna send him to bed. Florence will be home at half two. Also, if Florence isn't like too exhausted when she gets, she might be. <laughs> no, I'm gonna pretend um, she's gonna be a little bit uh, tipsy or something. <laughs> and she's gonna come back and she's gonna be like, I need a new outfit. <laughs> what is this? They're both called Bailey. <laughs> Just like the Spider Man meme. So yeah, I'm gonna look. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> 
I hope Bailey wins. <laughs> oh, leader of the pack one. I feel like she would wear this. Yeah, I like it. And I bet Florence does too. She doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, day five out of uh, seven days. And since it's a Sunday, I think it's just going to be a chill day. Um, they're not going to open the shop. They're just going to sort of focus on what they want to do. And, you know, the average, you know, need taking care of things. <laughs> probably have Florence take care of the garden as well. She'll probably wake up and roll the want to ask them on date, which is absolutely fine. And that will be a double whammy because I believe that will fulfill the have five first dates want. So that's two wants in one. As for Alda, um, I guess it's the same. It'll just be um, focusing on what he wants. Maybe try and help him get the talent badge that he wants. So focus on making robots. Oh, are you sick again? I really kind of wish that she wasn't a romance sim in a way. Mostly because Alda is just, you know, he's so into her and I just really worry about him getting his heart broken unfortunately it does make me sad but it, it again it's ultimately you know the sims choice who they fall in love with yep so she's rolled the one to ask a sim on a date oh two bolts with this guy Craig I guess we can call him up actually maybe don't go in the lounge for a few <laughs> Just, you know, just for a few minutes, but, um, we'll go and work on the gut. I just said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I guess with this sort of lifetime one, it will get repetitive, because obviously pretty much every day I want her to go out on dates. I do appreciate that it might get repetitive, so I do kind of want this video to mainly focus on that. And then maybe um, Monday and Tuesday we can do different things. You know, just so it doesn't get so repetitive. Or I'll just like go on a date and unless something really interesting happens, I can cut it out. Because to be honest, her dates are pretty... She doesn't really do much. She doesn't want to do much. And I mean, it's not even like her fault really because the partner normally doesn't want to either. Other than like, you know, they want to be tickled a bit. <laughs> His temperature is really high. <laughs> Probably because he's wearing his coat. Uh, I do have some like information about Craig. Um, because you may not recognize him, um, but he is a townie. But um, he actually starts the game as a, um, a child because he was getting close with some of my playable sims. I aged him up to a teenager. And then again, because he was close to some of my sims, I aged him again to an adult. And now he's just sort of like around for like anyone who needs, who needs to go on dates basically. So he's had a few, uh, he's had a few romances. Um, there's one particularly interesting one, which I, I think when they go on a date, I'll sort of just tell you about that. I don't know if these like anecdotes are that interesting. <laughs> I want to share this like hood with you like totally and completely like like share all the secrets with you <laughs> so you, I don't know I just don't want you to feel like super lost and like out of the loop like I want you to be like more involved if that makes sense I could be really lazy and just invite him over you know what yeah it's a chill day it's a Sunday you know whatever we can just invite him over, um, I don't know, they can make a nice, she can make a nice dinner or lunch or whatever. Just have a real chill Sunday date. <laughs> just so I'm not constantly ha having to like repeat going to downtown and going to the same places or even just going to new places, you know, I just think, shake it up a bit, you know, live a little. <laughs> he is so enamoured with Eden 
It's very cute, but it does make me sad, as I've said. I worry, like, I worry too much about all my sims, to be honest. It's like, I worry so much about them and I just want the best for all of them. But at the same time, um, with the want-based system and, you know, with pretty chaotic mods like Autonomous Chaotic Romance, <laughs> ACR, um, Sometimes, you know, things happen that are sort of... The Sims might choose, you know, bad decisions. They might make bad decisions for themselves. And sometimes I do want to interfere and say, like, no, like, don't have that affair. Don't um, find someone, like, who deserves you or something like that. But at the same time, you know... <laughs> I like to just leave it. Oh, Dexter's calling. That's awkward. <laughs> I didn't know he was a family sim. I genuinely didn't. Um, huh. <laughs> That's kind of awkward. Um, should they order food? Just so like she's not spending most of the day just in the kitchen cooking. Um, they can just order something, then Eden and and Alda can just you know eat some as well. <laughs> Yeah, let's order a pizza. But yeah, talking about Craig, introducing you to Craig, I'm guessing he wants to be tickled. He has heard about the famous Florence Delarosa tickles. <laughs> That's her secret. They're just so good. <laughs> I think his most notable uh, romances, if you can really call them that, they're not really that deep, <laughs> if I'm honest. But he's been involved with um, with Chanel Goth. Ooh, ACR is going in. ACR has arrived. <laughs> anyway, I keep getting distracted. I'm so sorry. Craig has been involved with Chanel Goth. I think they were teenagers at the time. Oh, and um, you know, I said like romance sims are sometimes just when they're on a date with someone else, they'll just randomly roll or want to marry another sim they're involved with. Um, with Chanel, that happens quite a lot. She'll be on a date with someone and then she'll sometimes get a want, no, not marry, but she'll get the want to fall in love with Craig, I think. It's either that or she does get that want. It's usually very fleeting, it disappears within like two seconds. Oh, it's kind of clipping through her trousers. Ooh. Just like look at her from the front. <laughs> Just ignore that. Oh, it's kind of clipping there too. Just ignore it, okay? <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry, I need to get to the point. Um, he's also been involved with Lexi Oldie, who was adopted by the Oldies, um, and she's currently married to Bo Broke. As teenagers, she and Craig, they didn't really do much. Um, Again, like, he's never really had, like, a real deep relationship with anyone. But they sort of had a thing. That's not very nice. Give him the friendly hug. Even though he does not deserve it. Yeah, there we go. So he's rolled the one to get married to Chanel. Because, because of course. <laughs> I guess it's not just romance sims who... We'll do that when on a date with someone else. <laughs> but he's he's making some you know, he wants to make a move. <laughs> Alda does not like that. <gasps> I love the details of this game. Oh, he's already got a crush. Ooh. I think he moves very fast. <gasps> I have never seen that before. Oh my god, there's a typo in it and everything. <laughs> Look at the typo! Oh my god, it's not just once. They don't just do the typo once. I need to pause this. Like, uh, do you guys see this? They have made this typo. Not once, but twice. I can't believe I was just saying, like, I love the details of this game. <laughs> no, I don't want to make fun, but, like, that's kind of funny. Picasso. <laughs> I think the typo really adds that you know, that je ne sais quoi, you know? And he's already fearing falling out of love with her. Th he, they're not even in love. He's moving a bit too fast. Anyway, um, Lexi is married to Bo. 
and quite recently I think Craig came over or something and ACR did its thing. Um, I don't think they, you know, went all the way, but there was definitely something. <laughs> they wanted to, uh, even if they didn't go all the way, I think they wanted to, or it was a heading down that road, <laughs> unfortunately. That was a pleasant way to spend some time and nice to be with. But yeah, basically, I think you sort of, well, Lexi's kind of having like an emotional affair kind of with him. You know, I really like it when the date ends or, or whatever and they just don't leave. <laughs> they just sort of stay there for eternity. I mean, the way he was moving, <laughs> I definitely think he um, thought he could uh, move in. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I just got this, it's from H&M stuff, I think, and it's not floral, but I think it suits her. I don't really think anything else is going to happen tonight, so I guess this is where I do the outro. <laughs> so this is the end of day five. We still have two more days to go, which will be in part three. Um, and final age count, uh, Florence is nine days to elder and Alda is five days to adult and Prim is an elder in two days so on the final day of the round so on Tuesday she will age to adult oh oh you know if you say oh, I don't think anything else is gonna happen <laughs> tonight I'm gonna leave the video here. Yeah, of course, of course. Like, why? <laughs> of course, they would wait for that moment. Um, Alda, quick, run, quick. <laughs> so, um, if you've made it this far, you are a star. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> oh, obligatory. I cannot believe I'm saying this out loud more than anything, but I hit 800 subscribers like 800 whole people i don't know why you're all here <laughs> i don't know what i did to you know deserve the heart i deserve you you're all so lovely and supportive and i don't want to be dramatic or maybe over the top or you know just getting ahead of myself even but honestly this is the best thing that could have happened to me this year after you know a tough year for everyone not just me but you know for the world hey i had a good time yesterday I <laughs> ruining my outro and he's given her a plant yeah that's thoughtful because you know she's florence she she likes plants i'll just keep that here thank you just i don't even know what you're supposed to say because i never really envisioned that many people would care <laughs> about my little sims and and anything I had to say about you know about corruption or just about this game like it feels like it feels like this is what I should be doing in a way if that makes sense <laughs> I just want to like tell like 10 year old Tani like people do actually want to watch your sims 2 videos <laughs> and I think she would be really shocked but, I mean I am 23 <laughs> year old Tani is even like well, why do people want to watch me but I'm very glad that people do <laughs> um I'm very grateful and an update on how corrupted Verona felt anyway it is slowly but surely it's coming along um I'd like it done soon so I think what I'm going to do is you know I'll finish this this round with the Della Rosas I'll finish their playthrough and then I want to focus you know pretty much all my attention on how corrupted Verona Vault anyway get that out and uh, then return to the Pleasant View series or anything else you know if I have any more ideas for experiments I'll do them but I think after this video well after the next video which will be the final part of the De Rosas, I will focus pretty much entirely on how corrupt is Verona Vault anyway I'm really happy with how everything is going and most of all I just really hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying my content, I hope it makes you as happy as it makes me, basically. So now I definitely don't think anything else will happen. <laughs> um, if it does I'm sure I'll return but 
so I'm gonna end it here now for real this time and I'm gonna make it official by saying the outro and I'm gonna say <laughs> remember to stay safe be good and most of all happy simming I'll see you when I next see you <laughs> yay okay bye